Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today got something a little bit different. So I just want to talk to you about setting up a uh, new web app using React and the Create React App um, method. So obviously to get started, you need a copy of Node, a version of Node.js installed on your computer. So just obviously go to the website here, and download the uh, version it recommends for your system. So once that's all installed, you're ready to go really. So I'm just gonna open up a new terminal. Okay, CD to my desktop. And this is where we're gonna create the new React app. So if we go to MPX, this is the command, create React app, and then just call it a name. So in this case, just call it new app. And then this takes, this can take a while to download, so I'll skip this part of the video. Okay, so our new uh, app's been created here on the desktop, you can see new app. So as it says here in the terminal, we're gonna CD into the new app. And then we're gonna run npm start, which will load the server and should start our app in the browser. Okay, so here's what your um, what should be displayed in your browser as soon as you've installed the uh, Create React app. So next thing we're going to do is open uh, your text editor. I'm using VS Code here, and then we're going to open the folder, the app folder we just created. So that's on my desktop, new app. I want the whole fo folder here. So open that. Okay, so I mean. If you're watching this video, you should, you should probably be used to React already, but I'm gonna obviously just first go in and clear clear out all this JSX here because we don't need that. Press save. Okay, cool. Okay, now I'm gonna start building my, so this is just gonna basically be like a small portfolio website. So I'm just gonna have like four different pages just to show uh, the React router method and how we can load the pages separately within the browser, as opposed to the app just being a single page uh, web app. So let's create the pages we're going to use first. So let's create a new file here. So I'll call this home.js. Uh, we'll also have an about.js, uh, projects.js. And we'll have a contact page as well. So contact.js. Okay, let's start building these pages up. I'm only going to put small small amount of JSX in this is just to show off obviously the, the, the routing method so first thing we have to, have to do is import react from react and then let's just do um, yeah function call here so function home and want it to return We'll just say a div for now. Uh, put a h1 in there. Just welcome to my website. Okay, and then obviously at the bottom of every kind of, uh, we want to export every um, function component. Sorry, so export default. Home. Okay. Okay, so we want to do the same thing for the other pages. So I'll just copy this for now to make it quicker. So about we'll call this about. about me. Change this to about well. Save projects. Okay, I just want to change. 
that because that will bug me as otherwise. So welcome to my and finally the contact page. Contact. Right. Contact. Contact me. Okay, so that's just the four basic pages done. So now if we go back to the app.js here, um, let's just uh, show that these are working, these components. So Okay, so we need to import the components, so import home from slash home and then import contact from dot slash contact import projects from Okay, so <clears throat> obviously we have to do the dot slash method here. Otherwise, if it, if it looks in, if I was to just put, say, contact, for example, it would look in the no modules folder and we want it to look in the current directory in which is the source folder. So just put a dot slash there to make sure it can find the, uh, the uh, export. Okay, so contact. Oh, I've already done the contact, sorry. So import about we want. And that should be about. Okay. All right. So just to check those components are working, we will go down here. Contact. Okay, so yeah, there's our separate components. There are four components. Okay, now we're gonna install um, React Router. So let me open the terminal in our project here. I'm gonna open it up in VS Code. So view the terminal. And then we're going to do an npm install I'm going to save this to our dependencies as well and I'm going to put react we're going to use the react router DOM module there are other routing modules but this is the most one of the most popular ones so we'll use that okay and then just wait for this to install so I'll skip the video again okay so the react router has now been installed uh, just to check, yeah, you can see that up here underneath our dependencies. Um, okay, so the next step is to go to our index.js. So obviously, yeah, the, the aim here is to get these components to load up on separate paths. So for example, when we're in the home page, and when we press forward slash about, it will take us to the about me component, forward slash projects, my projects, that kind of thing. So first we do, if we go to index.js, uh, we're going to import Uh, browser router that's coming from react router dom 
Okay, so this is in our node modules folder now. So React will look in this folder for this component here. Um, and the next thing we want to do is just wrap where it says render here. We want to wrap the app, uh, the app component around this browser router component. So just to show you, so that would be browser router. And then we want to just place that after app as well. Okay, so this will now allow us to use the route methods uh, within our app JS. So show what that looks like. So here we also want to import route and also do a link as well for a later section. So that's from React. Dom. Okay, we delete these out. So the first thing we're going to do is do a route, and this is going to we'll put path, the path of just forward slash for now. So as soon as you open a website, this will be the page that's displayed. So we can add another prop in here. So component is called, and we're just going to put this will be home. Okay, and then so we want to do that for each page. Okay, so forward slash about. Forward slash projects. And finally, contact. Okay, um, another thing to put in here is, is a prop called exact. So what this will do, it will tell uh, React just to match the exact path to take you to the, the relevant component. Otherwise, there's uh, there's weird routing. Uh, it's, there's a weird routing method with React where it can match on two components at once. So this is why we use the exact prop within our our root. It should be root, sorry, method. Okay, so exact, and I'll do this for all of my uh, routines as well. Okay. Right, so oh, that should be path. Sorry, not two. I was wondering why that wasn't working for a second. Okay. Path prop. Okay, so now you can see we're just getting the single opponents when we go to the relevant path, which is outlined here in VS Code. So, about, we have the about me, and finally, contact. So, that's basically, um, yeah, how the React router works. Um, Finally, just to kind of finish off this video, I just want to put a navbar component in here because obviously the user doesn't want to type in the address field. So let's create a new component here in the source folder called navbar. Okay, so again, we want to import React from React. Now I also want to import Link from React Router DOM. So, what the link uh, methods uh, component is going to allow us to do is just do client side routing. So, it was, we don't have to send a GET request every time, it will just load the, the, um, the component instantly without sending a GET request and refreshing the page. So, it's a lot quicker. So, 
let's create a nav bar. So function nav bar uh, return. So I'm just going to put a simple list in here. So return. Um, let's change this to React. Okay, so you will. Do an li, and then we'll put the link in here. So link. And this is two. Dot slash. Dot say home. Home, and then we'll delete that part there. Okay. And then I'll just copy that four times. So about and then I want that to go to projects. And then contact. Okay, so I want to export that now. So export default nav bar. Okay, so now if we go back to our app.js and then we put, let's import it first. So import nav bar from Write this up here. Okay, so now you can see we've got a nav bar up here. And you can see that, you know, we can click on the each page separately, but it's loading instantaneously. There's no page refresh going on here. So that's a that's the real purpose of React really. It's just client side routing and yeah, instant loading and it's a lot quicker. So that will wrap up today's video, guys. Um, I'm going to do a few more videos with this project. Uh, just want to give it some styling, a bit of content. And yeah, hopefully you uh, got some use out of this video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.